And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Gas Station Simulator. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. And uh, when we last left off, we were striving towards success. The bigger success being that we were on our way to making fat stacks of sweaty cash. And uh, Just as I wanted. meeting that $5,000 uh, request from the uncle. And right now we're doing pretty good. We've got 2,500 bucks, and I'm, again, I'm reluctant to make an upgrade to anything yet until I know we're a little further along than we are, which we're not quite there yet. The mirrors over here. But yeah, you know, the other thing to do is just wait till we do the 2,500 and then do the upgrades. But I, I think once we hit about 3,000, we can go ahead and do an upgrade. We can upgrade the workshop, maybe 3,500 even. That way we're sure we have two fat, 2K in the bank in case we need it for uh, something. Which I don't think, again, is that much of an issue, but better safe than sorry and broke. Uh... Because what are we talking about for the the warehouse can be upgraded now even, and it wouldn't be a big deal. It wouldn't hurt either. Um, but we've got plenty of room still in there, so I'm not worried about that right now. Um, the workshop is not as expensive as I thought. We could have we just upgraded that. And there we go. Achievement unlocked. Workshop level five. It looks like we got two uh, workstations now. That's good. That means we could have two orders of cars in there at one time, which means our need for tires is going to be even greater. So we might need to look into that with the leftover money that we're sitting on. Because right now, inventories are looking okay. Cigarettes is probably hurting the worst. Got a lot of chain smokers out here in the wild. Um, so we'll have to figure that out with the 1700 that we have. That'll do. And just in general, we're probably going to have to I was worried I'd go over really build up a bit more here. What the hell? Oh boy. So here's what we're going to do. I don't know how that dude got stuck, but he did. Here's what we're going to have to do is we're... I think what we'll do is we'll repair these these cars. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna get us some more tires because clearly we're gonna need them now. And once these two are done, we gotta move that dune. That, there's a dune finally in our way. Two tires and a door. And it looks like oil as well. Open that up. When the, uh, the next employee we're going to probably have to put in the garage. We're out on the fuel thing just because we don't have the means not to focus on other stuff. That's good enough. And the door. <clears throat> or we do the fuel between doing these two cars. Thank 
Let's do the other car and then clear out everyone. Just because we're out of room. So we need a mirror. A tire and a spark plug. So as they say, the old country get her done. And our cash register dude needs a break soon anyway, so we'll probably finish this car, do fuel if there's dudes out there, and then reset everything. Once we move that mound out of the way. Oh, super. Oh my god. They're just coming in. Okay, this is where I'm thinking I'm going to see some problems here. Here's what we're going to do. We've got a grand. I'm not going to... We're not. We're going to fuel everyone up and then get them out of here. So we can restock proper, properly and get that dune cleared out of the way. Because this is going to have too much shit going on all at once here. I still have a new mail I've not checked out. Email I've not checked out. All right, let, them, let that fool go. We need to think about a fueling technician. Um, just so we can focus on the automobiles and restocking as needed. Um, so yeah, let's fuel up and then we'll dump everyone out of here even the one in the garage <clears throat> just because awesome. we gotta fix that problem that's over there Thanks. Have a nice day. and cover your ears because they're going to be loud But yeah, we definitely might not need to start thinking about another employee for the even if it is the garage. If he moves back and forth between garage and fueling. Mainly mainly because I think we'll be okay with the fueling. With the garage rather. And he can work in the garage when we gotta do other stuff. Like ordering and whatnot. But there's a computer in the garage, so it's not like we Or did I not take it all? Let's dump this. There might be two mounds in the same spot. Seems like there's a bump there, but if it starts hanging up cars though, clearly we're gonna have to figure something else out. Hopefully not. I'd hate that for that to be like a weird deal breaker with some of the with the progress that we've made so far, it would suck if that was like a glitch. 
Oh, shoot. Well, you know what we need to do, too, is we need to put them on break so they can recover. Before we open the store, we'll clean everything up, get everything ready to go, and hopefully we'll be all set. We'll get it, make sure that they're all paid up, too, while we have the cash. Heaven forbid they don't have their freaking shit. They're not paid up, and then we don't have the money to pay them. I guess the next thing to do here is next to upgrading the warehouse would be to get the last few items inventory or shop items in here there's three things left toys like stuffed animals well i think that's it actually it's just those two things so that's definitely something we should strive for reason being is that that way we don't have to worry about the expense of those two items we can repaint pretty much all the buildings we could probably even do that now actually i want to wait because we're still getting numb nuts coming around here spray painting and i want to make sure we have money to put all the upgrade goodies out so that might be a deterrent for him uh with regards to him do, you know putting this stuff on the walls <clears throat> so definitely something for us to consider then we can maybe make a final color for the the place. Let's make sure this is all stocked up. Let's just put it all in one place for now. And we're gonna be a little careful with that. Okay. This is all looking good. Everything looks like it's cleaned up to some degree. I think we're ready to continue. All right. we'll just paint while we're waiting over the stuff that's been defiled by the kid you notice he never paints the workshop though or I mean he never spray paints the workshop so that's something to keep in mind Two cars ready for fuel. And there's the third one there. Alright. <clears throat> Seems like we have some workers, some workshop cars coming in. Are they, what are they honking at? 
Awesome. Have a nice day. Yeah, we'll wait and see what's coming up. in the garage already. Jeez, I'm crow. Let's get one of these guys out here. <clears throat> so we know these, these automobiles pay pretty good. So it looks like pyre and coolant. So we get to play the coolant mini game. Find out right now if this car is gonna get stuck. Awesome. Okay, clean the station. <laughs> okay, they don't get stuck. That's good. Let's do some fuel. 1458. Remember, we need roughly two grand to refill our fuel. Thanks a bunch. And we're not quite there. Worst Too case is we I take a loan like we did before. Which is fine because we just purchased an upgrade, so. That would be something I'm mildly okay with. paint some more of the exterior you know what we could also do is look at upgrades for the bathroom as well because that's new like I said we're gonna do the more functional ones first the more the more functional upgrades make sure all that's kind of up to up to up to par two tires a door and a spark plug let's do the spark plug got two spark plugs left so we'll need to order some more soon between the repair of these two cars we'll have enough to redo our fuel Deal with the fuel, then deal with the second car. Unless it's something easy for the second car, but I'm not even probably going to let it get to that stage. We'll just go for it. Just because we'll go right to the fuel, because we don't want them to wait too long. And if the other car has a lot of work that needs to be done, we're, we're screwed. Roughly. Tires, door, oil, and fuel. Let's do the door. Oil and coolant.
have at least another tire. I already see a second car coming in. Again, we're okay with. There might even be just time when we have to have downtime to close the garage and take care of some stuff, you know? The whole gas station. He tires battery four mirror. Door is done. We're probably going to have to get a, uh, somebody to do the fuel at this point. Let me see how we're going to have time to do this car, the fuel, and order new stuff as we need it. That's going to be our next investment for sure. They seemed patient enough, so maybe we'll hold off. Just as I wanted. That'll do. Just as I wanted. There's another car. Tires, mirror, door. tires boom gas after this for sure. Let's oil, oil some fuel. Let's order some fuel. take a look at our stock of parts probably hurting we could use tires mirrors probably more coolant and spark plugs Spark plugs, good thing we bought some more. I don't even remember how many bought. I don't I don't think I bought enough spark plugs when they were on a deal there. And a 
two tires. Make sure we, before we bother with the, uh, well, we can't, we don't want to do the fuel till our fuel shipment arrives. We just did, so we'll do that right after. Storm, great. truck inside. He's all squared away. dune problems here maybe while there's no cars we can deal with the dunes now just to see what happens by making them wait here comes another zoom storm oh, was that the end of it maybe that was the end of it Dune to move, unfortunately. But yeah, we're gonna get that gas station thing going, I think. It'll be our next expense. Let's refill these three cars before they piss off. Before they get pissed off, rather. How much do I owe you? Your soul! I'm worried I'd go over budget. Super! Let's go to the garage. I don't know who came in first, so we'll just deal with it as we do. Tire oil. Did the tire gets stuck in there? I 
Honestly, there's not much here, so hopefully the other car can hold out. Well, we need to get one of the another cash register guy clerk in there. Tire oil battery. Get the tire first. Battery. Oh wait, not oil. Coolant. That'll keep us settled for a while. Let's do the fuel and anything else I can think of. I'm having trouble thinking of what else. Oh, yeah, we were going to hire another boy. Awesome. We'll at least get the trailer out there and get someone here. But Top of the line job there. Tire, door, mirror. going here we definitely need more batteries coming up batteries mirrors are good i think it's really just batteries we should get more tires while we're at it always get tires until there's no longer a need for tires Keep forgetting about the attendant. Let's uh let's start looking into that. You're a lifesaver. I was worried we'd be 
stranded. You're last. Let's get that going now. Trailer. There's a fifth trailer. Let's hire someone. Put them on gas. Two tires and then a little bit of everything except the cool it looks like. And let's get what's her name to work as well on the inside there. No, 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 no. It didn't matter. Okay, what was I doing? Another tire. Okay, we need a door clear and a mirror. This guy fucking has a little of everything. And in a big way, too. Probably need to check the inventory for the shop because I'm sure that that's probably hurting pretty bad at this point. The spark plug's still gotta happen too. Should be getting taken care of. Last day. Tire, battery, spark plug. And then we'll go to the warehouse and deal with that. And we still gotta figure out what's going on with our inventory after the ravers leave. every way but the right way to do it <laughs> look at that we're almost to three thousand dollars and we don't i don't can't think of any major resupplying we need to do except maybe uh the main warehouse or the the, the, the store shop front so we'll take a look at that in a moment but we have plenty of cash so we're not we're not hurting for anything we got a shipment of batteries coming in with a few other accessories of tires and whatnot and so we clearly need a help in the, the store when we get a chance, though, because it's getting pretty gross in there. Okay. Let's go deal with this dude. There's nobody, there's nobody at the register, I just realized. Why is that not... Be why it's getting worse in there. Again, like I said, we're gonna go in there and check out what's going on. Do. See what we can do to help. Could have sworn he was there was somebody in there. You know, all hell's broken loose out in the store. So the garage will have to just wait for a little bit longer. 
says he's fueling, so we'll take it for its word. a little bit low okay we're especially on that okay let's work in the garage and then we'll put in an order for some more goods two tires four. I don't think we have the door and the mirror. And last but not least, the god damn mirror. have to hire that other employee to start working in the garage the rate we're going here we're gonna be oh we're gonna get swamped just so he can work on stuff while i'm trying to reorder and restock all right so what do we need here okay the same things from the other one Pretty much the same two cars just rolled up. done three tires a door oh, man and stuff under the hood 
They're in demand quite a bit from us, aren't they? Our stock is okay, but like I said, we're gonna we're almost to the five thousand, so let's just take it to five thousand and see what happens here. We still haven't upgraded everything either, so if the game ends up ending once we hit that five grand, we'll do a few more episodes uh, to see if we can max out upgrading everything. Door and coolant and battery. Here's the 5,000. Alright. Oh, okay. Let's do our orders first because clearly we need to make sure we have enough money for everything coming up. We're running low on stuff and I don't want to turn the money in and then not have enough to buy inventory. Probably enough for now. You know, let's add something. Let's add some toys. got food on the way figure out the car stuff because we're running low on tires two tires and a door scratch thing hence why we weren't ready to turn that money in we need to make sure we have a, a substantial amount over five grand i would say at least two thousand dollars over that in case we need fuel at the last minute as well so that would be probably a safer bet than to just say we're gonna end it here because we're clearly not quite ready to do that yet. Spark plug. We could use and burn some money too as well as upgrade the warehouse though again i don't think we need to per se but it wouldn't hurt two tires are last two so we're gonna need to get at least about 20 tires Of 
spark plugs. Give us an idea how good we are in gas. We're getting to about our last third. I was worried I'd go over budget. I was worried you were a serial killer. Just as I wanted. Have a nice day. All right, let's go to the warehouse, get that crap restocked in the main shop, and we'll be good to go. And the other truck should be showing up as well. So, we're getting there. I know, I keep, I keep, I gotta stop saying that, <laughs> in a sense. There's no point in constantly pointing that out. But what I will say is that um, we are in the final stretches here of the game is our average floating money right now is around 15 to 2,000, so that's good. Meaning that we're finally, this place is finally turning a profit. Uh, even with the extra employees and stuff working their butts off. Literally, we're, we're making good time. That'll do. You know, we're everything's working out in a way that's very objectively good. <clears throat> we've got a root, we've got a routine going. You know, so it's, you know, it'll be good. And and the money that we make, I think, is going to continue to increase, accumulate quite quickly um, as we're doing these jobs. Come on. Come on, dude. Go. Whatever we need out of here. Let's restock the shelves, refuel, and then go to that go to the garage and get that going. Probably swap out cash cashiers. Not fill it up as much as I thought we would. stock it that much but it'll work for now Super. Thanks. Thanks a bunch. let's get the new dude on the register <laughs> That's all that that is. Great job. Three tires and then a bunch of other crap.
Once we get this card done, we'll get the cleaning lady in there. And then we'll be good. So this is, we're coming up to a point where we're going to stop. We're almost to level seven in our, you know, popularity. So it's, you know, it's a slow and steady uh, move, movement here. I still think we're going to hire that last employee to hang out in the garage. That way we can micromanage other things as it becomes necessary. As well as make them like kind of a third wheel replacement for anything that we need done. You know, kind of make them a jack of all trades or Johnny on the spot kind of worker. Anything we kind of need them to do, we can get them to do as it's, you know, being, being an issue. So it looks like cleaning's a big one. Um, the garage needs lots of attention. Because um, I can barely, we barely have enough time for to, to get away from the garage to do anything major. Which is just in the long term, not a good place for us to be. And strangely enough, they've given us way more stock room than we actually need for most of what's here. So there's that element of it too that we have to address. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far so good. You know, it's all coming along. No real issues. Um, and like I said, in a, maybe an episode or two, we're going to hit that coveted 5,000 with enough left over that we won't have to worry about expenses going forward. Oh, that all so much. So now that the garage is kind of capacity is kind of getting met here. Uh, and we're outputting cars like it's nobody's business. I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not having really time to stop between cars. They just keep coming faster than I can fix them. Again, hence why we should get that employee. That way we can knock that out. So with the extra money that we've got, we're going to upgrade to the last employee. Probably put him in here so that at least he'll work on one car at a time. I'm sure he won't jeopardize or optimize two cars being worked on. So that way we can work on another car and try to get the flow better. But we'll see. I'll be interested to see how that plays out. Because at that point then, there's we could open the car wash. If he does take over both, we could open the car wash and just, you know, let that run. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is a, this is a nightmare. Let's get what's her name in here. Uh. a little better now as i said what i kind of want to do here is get that last employee so we'll do that right now actually you know what we'll do it on the next episode so i want to thank you guys for stopping by like comment subscribe all the good stuff check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash actor studios for more live gaming action and when we come back we're going to get the last employee i think that we can get do some bathroom upgrades maybe as well get that employee in the garage and then figure out the logistics of how we're going to be moving forward so thanks for stopping by guys we'll see you guys next time